Hello and welcome to Juice Past Kickoff. July Juice Past Kickoff. Um, this is my husband Caleb and my name is Jane. We have been married for about 11 years. We have three wonderful children. They are aged four, six and eight. Edric, Yvonne and Diane. And we are currently travelers. We are nomads here in the United States. We go from state to state and we homeschool our children. So a little bit of background about myself. I grew up in Kenya, in Africa, and I moved to United States in 2004, primarily to go to school and search for greener pastures and become a better me. And I met my wonderful husband and together we are building our future together. A little bit of background on me. I came from originally from Minnesota. Um, I was born in a small town of Sock Rapids. Um, I was also homeschooled, so that's a little bit of where I got homeschooled and a little bit of how it happened for us that we ended up homeschooling. Anyways, so um, I was homeschooled. Um, church was something for us that was very important coming from a small town and um, a little bit of background on me. I was born and raised in Minnesota, a um, small town of Sock Rapids. Uh, we grew up hunting, fishing, going to church. Um, I was super interested in wrestling, football, um, a lot more probably hunting, trapping. Um, I was homeschooled so I spent a lot of time outside playing with stuff, making my own bows and arrows and um, but a lot of time spent fishing with dad, uh, a lot of time in church as well. Um, but fast forward that, uh, as I got out of the house, I was still interested a lot in fitness. I became a personal trainer, um, found I could also help people a lot of ways through stretching, massage therapy. So I came, became a massage therapist and, um, that's kind of what has kick-started a lot of this for us. That's around the time I was meeting Jane. And turning back to the background, um, I didn't speak much to how I grew up in Kenya. And I grew up in very humble beginnings, very minimal things to play with as compared to growing up here in the United States. I grew up as a single child for the most part until I was about 20 and my sister came into our family's life and so I played with what I could find out in the yard whether those were sticks, grass, making balls using papers. Um, I just kind of played with what I could find uh, because we didn't have much to begin with and so toys and even good clothing those were luxuries and so that's where the passion of becoming better and searching greener pastures started and um, I, I couldn't think of anything other than going to a first world country and really doing it with the you know the way they were doing it in the first world country and so that's how I came here and eventually met my wonderful husband Caleb. So moving on to when we became parents so in 2013, we were still living in Minnesota. We had our home where we planned to, you know, have our family and eventually retire. And so we became parents. And the first time that we actually realized nutrition was an issue, hence the juice fast we are doing, was when we, we gave birth to our first baby girl. And at two months old, our baby girl was diagnosed with atopic dermatitis or eczema. And so as a first time mom, um, you know, looking forward to just doing my best for my child, nurturing them, um, making sure they were perfect and everything was perfect. I truly believed my doctors would help me navigate this. And so I brought my child to the doctor and it, that's where things started, um, our eyes started opening because we had to do several visits to the doctor to take several tests and each time we would come back with a prescription of 
some cream or some pain reliever or just something to help with the allergies but we didn't really understand how the problem would go away and as a mother trying to uh, ensure my child this is my first child I want everything to be perfect um, I, I started feeling like I'm failing and things are never gonna work out and we don't have answers and um, that's where the frustration started setting in and that's where we started also doing a lot of research outside of what we were just being told by our doctors um, so I don't know if you want to add into also that. I feel like as a personal trainer and massage therapist already at the time I was we already I already had a pretty good idea that the doctors probably weren't going to be able to help us I also suffered uh, eczema when I was growing up so I kind of knew there wasn't really a fix for it or anything like that. Um, so I kind of knew that we were going to have to work on this on our own. And um, that's just the way it ended up happening is finding out that a lot of it was food allergies. A lot of it, other things were secondary infections that were not being treated. Um, eventually we did find somebody Facebook that treated the eczema with with a topical antibiotic um, along with the steroid that did help knock out the secondary infection she had and once that went away um, she never really has she still can have problems if she has eating gluten or eggs or too much things that will be uh, an irritant to her system allergy wise but as soon as that secondary infection went away, I mean, she was like a brand new child again that was out of pain when she had been in pain mostly her whole life. And so that was amazing to come by and just a testament to us about how much food can play a role in your life going forward. So it's, it was a big eye opener for us. Yes. And I remember even the moments and even going through the motions because for a while we had worked with our primary doctor, we had even gone to a specialist, gone to a special hospital, um, and we were still not getting answers. And so we, went, we turned to Facebook, we turned to people who had children who were suffering like us. And um, it took a really, it took a lot of courage to be able to trust a doctor who was just someone you found online and to trust that the formula they were going to create for our child would be helpful. And as my husband said, we didn't realize how much suffering the, the, um, the eczema had already caused to our child. I mean, she was, we could see the visible signs, which was a very red skin, oozing sometimes, bleeding, and it's itchy. So when she scratches, it peels the skin more. It, you know, we are covering her hands in, in mittens at night and, you know, she can't really play with her hands and as a child, they want to be able to get into everything. And so it became very frustrating trying to manage the disease and that's where we realized getting to the root is really something that's going to be able to set her free and also set as parents, as, uh, set as free as parents. So. That was a very eye-opening moment. And fast forward to our third baby, Edric. When Edric was born, at about two months, Edric also started showing the signs of eczema, atopic dermatitis. And so this time around, we knew exactly what to do. We knew it was in the diet and that's exactly what we went after. And he did well. Um, I do wanna mention that um, even as our daughter did well, so here's an example of an apple. She can eat an apple, but if the apple, if she eats the apple with the skin, um, she reacts to it. And so we had to really do a lot of experiments and realize it's not really the inside of the apple, rather it's the coating on the skin of the apple. And we'll go into more examples like that later. Um, but now we want to really do that deep dive deep dive into foods. And so as we were navigating this journey of eczema, that's also the same time we were getting exposed to the concept of organic foods. 
Um, and so we, we really trusted our organic stores and we trusted that everything we were getting from our organic store was good for us. Our perception was as long as it's grown organically, it's good for us. And it is. Um, but there are some things that um, influence the way our body reacts to the foods we eat and we'll go into that later. Um, and so we shopped organic, which is two times more expensive than shopping conventional. And we ate everything. We had fruits, we had vegetables, we had meats, we had dairy once we were past the nursing age. We were eating everything, but we believed because it came from an organic store, it was good for us hence it was eating clean and so eating clean we're eating organic foods that are clean but then we are suffering through it we have bloating we have headaches we have head fog we have some weight that we know we are holding on and so that's just where we are explore, exploring the organic food concept i think too just even though we didn't realize even though we're eating organic and even though we're trying to eat a lot of the good foods and things we are still we're eating we were eating a lot of protein a lot of dairy a lot of carbohydrates rice and things um and i mean it, and we were healthy but i think that to some degree there were still a lot of things that we were still suffering um different stomach pains for me, just keeping weight in my face and other places that wasn't usual. And at the time, a lot of it, I didn't actually even really notice um, that it was wrong or not feeling right. I felt pretty good, actually. But um, now looking back at the pictures of what I looked like at that time, um, I think, wow, you know, <laughs> it's a lot different than where I am today, for sure. And so that was definitely interesting. So as we became aware that yes, we are eating organic foods, but we are still feeling different. As Caleb mentioned, I looked at, look at some of my pictures in the past as well, and I can see the signs back in the day. And so we started turning into other tools to, con to continue learning more about nutrition. And so we went into audio rooms like Gaia. We went into channels like Club, I mean, I'm sorry, audio rooms like Clubhouse. We started watching the Gaia channels. We started looking at other means. Um, we ran into a doctor called Dr. Robert Moss. Um, this was through Clubhouse. And that took me, myself, through a different journey, which was a 15 day detox program that I did in um, after Thanksgiving in 2021. So for 15 days, all I consumed were fruits, vegetables, supplements, and a protein shake. And I'll share more details about the protein shake. But all, that's all I consumed. So I eliminated sugars, refined salts, processed foods, and meats. And for 15 days, I did that, and I lost 15 pounds. I also realized that the, the bloating I had on my belly area, my legs, my arms, my cheeks, um, they, those were all chunky areas that went down. I noticed that when I woke up in the morning, I was ready to go. It's not like I needed a pick me up to get started. I didn't have head fog. I didn't have night sweats. So that gave me a huge aha moment into what type of clean eating was I doing and what does clean eating truly means and yeah and I think also for me um, when I was first when we were first hearing and I think Jane was kind of the pioneer on this whole the whole clubhouse kind of side of it and and other listening to other people who were talking a lot more about um, a plant-based diet which you know I was obviously well aware of I've as a massage therapist, personal trainer, and all of that, all of my clients to talking about this kind of diet, that kind of diet, keto, all kind of whatever. Um, but uh, growing up in the Midwest and always being a hunter, 
fishermen, all of this. Um, I ate a lot of meat. I really did. I ate a lot of meat, and actually, I still kind of do. I'm not, I'm not completely shaken of that yet. So, um, but that was probably the hardest thing for me to start changing my mind on was the fact that even though it might be clean meat um, and all of those things, I thought eating some meat every day is probably fine. You know, it's good for you, all of these. Um, and it took me a long time to start realizing that meat is actually slowing down my digestion. It's it's staying in my gut lot, way longer than other fruits will. It's it's causing me inflammation and other things that I was just not aware of that I was suffering pretty much from every day. Um, and so that's where, for me, it really became a big aha moment. Like, wow, this is really affecting me much more than I ever would have imagined. And, and now um, going to where I have plenty of days of the week where I eat no meat at all, and I feel way better. I feel a lot more mental clarity. Um, as somebody, I also suffer from ADHD. I have my whole life. Um, ADD, ADHD. Touch paper with my hands because the feeling of paper for some reason just gave me such a weird sensory thing. So imagine trying to teach a child that can't even touch a piece of paper. It's not easy, I'm sure. But my mom's a saint for that. I did learn something. Um, but anyways, going back to that, um, I'm just amazed at what just eating fruits and vegetables will do for you and how much you can be satiated and just fine with eating fruits only. It really is fruits and vegetables only. It's kind of amazing. So it's a big eye opener. Yes. And I remember when I was going through that 15 day and Papa is such a great cook and the bacons in the morning and the sausage, like that used to be our morning thing, bacons and sausage, some oatmeal, and I'm just smelling it. And my brain is telling me, you're missing out, you're missing out. And um, I'm also telling myself, I'm here for a reason. I'm here for a reason. I don't need the meat. And that's the, that's the toughness that Caleb explains is, you know, you know how good your body is gonna feel if you eat right but then you just find yourself going for that ice cream that cookie and so as we come into our juice juice fast here um, we call it juicy july thanks to my hubby's <laughs> creative thought process um we're going to spend the month of july juicing and so how we define juicing is drinking juice <laughs> Um, juicing fruits, juicing vegetables, and that's the primary means of food for the entire month of July. And so for myself, I'm going to be juicing the fruits and vegetables, but I'm also going to be taking some supplements. These are supplements that I got introduced to when I did that 15-day detox program, supplements to clean out the glyphosate in the system, supplements to help eliminate any parasites that might be habiting or lingering around in my gut because those parasites are the ones that make you feel like you're hungry, hungry, hungry. And then I have supplements for protein to ensure that I'm maintaining that protein intake. And then I have supplements for joint issues because um, in my history or what you call a medical history, arthritis runs in the family and so something that I've always been told to look forward for is joint issues later in life and so part of my intentions going into this juice first is to control my craving control the craving of things that are going to make my body continue to suffer to the point that I need um, additional help as I grow older and so that's how i am approaching it letting go of things that no longer serve me including the foods um, and just setting that intention and looking at the future 
future me after that 30 day juice fast, especially with my husband and just looking forward to what that life is going to look like. Um, and A large part of it for me is, is the craving control um, and the just kind of the rewards, I guess, that we feel like we need sometimes. Um, I'm just, for me, I, I'm having a, a lot of really good days where I can go all day just having the smoothies, just having fruits and vegetables. But then, um, you know, we'll, we'll go out as a family and lately it's really hot here in Georgia. Uh, so we've been going out to the pool with kids, with the kids. And for whatever reason, you go to the pool, you know, you swim, it's hot, you have fun, everybody has fun. But the first thing you get out of, the first thing you do when you get out of the pool and you sit in the hot car and kind of start getting warm is start thinking of snacks. I don't know if it's just because that's what we've done in, in or I've done in my history, like leaving the beach, getting candy on the way home from my parents, or it's just in human nature to want a reward after you've gone out and done something fun. But for me, uh, been struggling. You know, we as soon as the kids get in the car, they're like, "Okay, what are we? What treat are we gonna get?" And I always give in, and I'm getting ices, I'm getting chips or sodas or things that I know I really shouldn't have. And as soon as I have them, I suffer. Um, and a lot goes the same with our family time. On the weekends, we like to go out hiking um, and just exploring all the new areas that is brand new to us because we're constantly in a new home and constantly moving. So we're checking out new state parks and new, just everything. Um, the, the kids have learned a lot about the Civil War, about slavery here in the United States. But anyways, when you go out and do this stuff and you've had a super busy day, you know dinner's not really prepared when you get home. And it's just really easy and fun to go out and and have dinner. And really there's not very many restaurants out there where you can go have, um, you know, a plant-based dinner and enjoy it as well. So it, it's just something very tough. But um, so going on this juice fast is really for me, um, I'm hoping that this will resensitize me to to um, salt sugar but also discipline me um, to know that it's okay to not to not take that reward or not take the the candy that you did so desperately want because you went out for a swim um, and I'm hoping also to instill that in my kids so that they don't have the those those nerve um, programming going on like I have. Um, the nerve programming, just the the reward of getting that. And if anything, you know, I wanna build healthier things that we can still have a reward, but maybe it's not um, candy or chips or sodas. Maybe it's, for now anyways, going to get some new earrings or just anything else besides getting food. So that's what I'm hoping the, I, the largest outcome of this juice fast for me is more self-discipline on treats, um, self-discipline on those that reward, pleasure kind of sense when you, when you just are wired for that, or at least I have been throughout my whole life, whether it's Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, all of it entails tons of junk food, gifts, and all of this stuff that really, it's just not serving us as a family anymore, and we're trying to find out what we can do about it, and I think this is going to be the beginning of something that's going to be a lifelong um, improvement for us and for the kids as they grow up. Yes, and you know, something that kept floating in my mind as my husband was talking about that was redefining wealth. Um, I, I keep thinking, if you don't have your health, 
what do you have? And so redefining the concept of wealth and looking at it from the past, perspective of health, which means if you are not healthy and you're not showing up as whole, then anything else that you do is is less than a hundred percent and so very excited for what this journey is about to reveal to us and of course setting those intentions for things we are looking to accomplish and as we have three young ones um you know we did things the way we did because that's what we knew and circumstances forced us to do things the way we do but as we expand our awareness um, and we continue to grow and learn, um, we, we use that to then impact our generation and our offsprings. And the hope is that, that those lessons carry on to our future grandkids and great grandkids as well. And so, as you know, you know, you either prepare to fail or, you know, when you're trying to do something, you either prepare or you just fail you're preparing for failure and so we've done a lot of prep work mentally just setting those intentions physically what are we going to need so we've invested in a juicer um it's called the nama j2 juicer it's the best so far based on the research we did because it's easy to use easy to clean and um we've also looked around and seen what kind of fruits and vegetables are we going to be juicing what's that going to be looking like and so our juicer arrived about two weeks or a week ago and then last weekend we were able to do a test drive so we got a bunch of fruits and we juiced them up we kind of have an idea of how many fruits do you need how much juice is gonna keep you full for how many hours um, and you know just things like that so preparing you know once you decide to do something you're committing to it you're doing the steps to get you through it and you can only expect success going forward and as I said mental is the tough part you know because you have to tell yourself you can do it versus telling yourself you can't do it for me I think um... I think a lot of what is going to be determining my success personally is um, the mental aspect of it. Um, physically, I feel like I've gone through it a couple of days. I've been there. I've had smoothies only for a couple of days. I've kind of I know what it's all about now, and um, I kind of know what I'm getting into with, for the physical side of it. Um, I know it's not going to be easy. I know it's going to be tough. Um, mentally, I think mentally, that's where I need a lot of work when it comes to this and being successful with it. Um, yesterday, I made I made a like a mantra bead string with 30 beads on it, one for each day, <laughs> and I'm planning to use that a lot. Um, I know I'm going to be planning on waking up just a little bit earlier than I normally do um, and just sitting with probably my earbuds in in meditation for the first hour of each day and that will be just basically intention setting um, just kind of really reminding myself why I'm doing it um, and then just over and over just kind of Repeating that mantra of getting rid of getting rid of things that no longer serve me, um, getting rid of things that I know are not healthy, getting rid of things that I know um, are not healthy for my kids, they're not healthy for my kids. Seeing me doing it, um, there's a, there's a lot of things that I know I can do way better. I know that I am going to have a hard time, so I'm going to really focus on waking up in the morning in my meditation. Um, and then another part of the physical aspect of what I want to see is a lot of um, improvement in joints, hips. I have been in a lot of a lot of crashes, injuries, these kind of things, high-speed car accidents, and just overall being hard on myself, BMX biking, snowboarding, 
And just in general, growing up in this age where, you know, people enjoy jumping into bushes or whatever for fun. So growing up, I did a lot of that. I have a lot of pains and aches. And um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of yoga in the morning as well, along with um, hopefully some Tai Chi yoga and meditation those are going to be all kind of aspects of taking my care of myself mentally to hopefully be successful with last than 30 days and and yeah seeing what kind of changes it does to me and that's part of why also i'm kind of new as you can see to making videos my wife is a little more my wife is a little for me to do get in front of the camera um show you guys where i'm starting <laughs> off what I look like starting off um, and also it will keep me accountable showing up on here twice three times a week whatever talk about what my struggles are what I'm working on today what my meditation brought me for the day um, and then I'm of course we're hoping that some of you guys will follow along with us and my mic maybe here we'll talk a little bit more about following with us we have a lot of ways we have facebook linkedin we have clubhouse youtube videos youtube channel we have a website um she'll talk a little bit more about that so i hope to see you guys more often every day every three weeks or every three times a week whatever and um yeah hopefully it goes well yeah i'm looking forward to it and um follow our journey as my husband mentioned we have clubhouse rooms we're going to try and host clubhouse audio rooms three times a week where you can come in follow the journey ask any questions join us you know if you want to join in at some point um we have a youtube channel we're going to share our stories there um we also have a Facebook and a LinkedIn page. It's called Root Cause Healing. So I'm um, just trying to reach out and connect as part of our journey. We didn't get some of the answers just by ourselves. We got those answers because of connecting with other people. And so we feel like by sharing our journey, um, it could impact somebody who's going through the same thing. And lastly, we also have our African Journeys website. Um, we have a chapter there on nutrition and we're going to be sharing a lot of blogs, um, videos, posts on that site. And so thank you so much if you've been watching this video from whatever channel you are or listening in. Um, we are just husband and wife trying to elevate our human consciousness by getting rid of things that no longer serve us. Um, by evaluating the things that we have done um, and just marching forward um, in, in, in with energy that we need um, and, and eliminating the things we don't need. And so we're very excited for this. We look forward to the future of us as we come out of this. Um, thank you so much for joining and listening in and watching. And I, you can expect pretty much, I would say, to hear from us on lots of different topics um, in the morning. I don't think it will be just strictly, um, I don't think that it will be just strictly about, hey, we're doing a juicing. Um, there's going to be a lot of things we're talking about, not only your food and your, um, your nutrients that you're getting in and, and meditation, but also kind of what's happening out there the way that we're going to take it um, because honestly that's that's affecting us all whether it's a it's affecting our mental state it's affecting um, the choices we might make for food during the day it's affecting our stress level um, so we're just going to probably talk about some of those things that are happening that day and the way we take it um, i think that between us coming from somebody who came from Kenya in the village who didn't have a lot of uh, political upbringings or even thinking about that, um, as well as me coming from a homeschool background um, and a very small 
non-denominational church. I think between Jane and I, we have a lot of uh, unique aspect on the way we look at things. And also, we didn't get a lot of the uh, indoctrinations that a lot of people did. So I believe we do have our unique and open mind to a lot of situations that come up. Um, and a lot of situations that come up in diets um, and, and all of these kind of things. So yes, please follow us. Please listen. I think that we have some people that we can teach things to. And I think that there's plenty of people out there that can teach us things as well. So we're, we're looking forward to growing. We're looking forward to getting healthier um, and making better life choices for us and for the family. Thank you for following. Thank you. Bye-bye. Juicy July. <laughs>